You guys, I actually love caramelized onions. These have been caramelizing now for like almost an hour. Blake's traveling for work, so it's a veggie girl dinner in Alex Earl. This is what I've got going, and plus some potatoes on the side. Hello, you guys, good evening. I currently have a face mask on. I just took some time post, oh, I'm opening the window because I always do this before bed, but um, I took some time post dinner. Why is this not working? Um, to just kind of chill. I watched some vlogs. I did some perusing on Depop. And now I'm just starting to wind down. I just, um, as I said, showered, put a little face mask action on, and put on my cozies, and I'm gonna quickly magnesium my arms chest legs and then my feet I always do my feet um, because it I swear sometimes I do the palms of my hands too because it makes me absorb the magnesium faster I swear I swear by so anyways doing that and then I have my tea my tea pegs lemon or um peppermint licorice it's so good and i'm gonna grab some dessert a little bright garden granola bar and then i'm gonna sit on the couch and read my book i'm trying to figure out why my air isn't working so that's the plan but i love you guys and i'll see you in the morning okay one thing about me but I feel like I don't really show on here that much is that I really strive to have minimal, I don't want to say zero because that's not true, but minimal food waste. So like, for example, I had these strawberries that have partially, um, they haven't gone bad. They're just like not the best. And also our water is filtered if you're wondering our cold water, but I'm just trying to get a little, um, and so I'm going to make just a little bit of jam that I can have with ciabatta later because I don't want to waste them. Um, but I'm just going to put this in the oven in my little Le Creuset with some arrowroot and strawberries and see if it works. If it doesn't work, then it doesn't work, but I think it's going to be good. Hello, you guys. Great me day. Vibes. And I'm about to cook some dinner. Blake is still traveling for business so I am doing my own thing I just did a little evening Pilates flow um actually I made a bone broth I've been into bone broth at like 4 30 or 5 lately um it's like kind of an evening snack um and yeah I it depends like on I don't know my appetite for the day. I'm not a big snacker, but sometimes I need like a little something before dinner, like in between lunch and dinner. And so when it's cold, I'll do bone broth. When it's um, like warmer months, I'll do like a crudite with maybe like some cheese. Um, I actually really love to do like, I like to keep roasted Roma tomatoes on hand and I'll do like some roasted Romas with some Parmigiano. Um, and like some pickles like just kind of like a little mosh posh um but yeah anyway so i had some bone broth and then i did a little um evening pilates flow and now i'm going to make some dinner i'm gonna do just veg again i just like can't be bothered to make a meat um it's kind of nice not having to like dirty the kitchen i just feel like it doesn't get dirty to the same extent um when i don't make one or when i don't make a meat so anyways but yeah blake is in san antonio um so yeah today i slept in which felt so good I slept till like nine and then i met a friend for a coffee and it was literally snowing and then i um worked a little had a meeting and then I 
honestly just like chilled. I ended up going down to the gym and walking on the tread for a while because I was like, I need to like move my body. Like I was, I still moved my body today, but I was just feeling like antsy and a little bit pent up. So that's, that's where we're at. I just like, I'm really, really ready for spring. And I'm not trying to sound like a negative Nelly, but I'm just like, it's hard to like go from how beautiful it was this weekend to back to this kind of weather. It's just like, like it's weird on the mind, but it's also weird on the body. Like, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but like when the weather changes rapidly like this, like I feel like my body just starts to feel weird. My fingers get really puffy. Like it's like weird stuff like that, that you wouldn't necessarily expect. I'm making a little sparkling water for while I cook, but anyways, so I'm just ready. I'm ready for spring, but the farmer's market starts this weekend. So I can't wait for that. Um, and yeah, you guys, I just love, there's nothing like a Moroccan glass. I love just the slight hints of green that they have. I just think they're so perfect. I feel like I've talked about this countless times, but you don't, if you don't have kitchen gloves for doing your dishes, you need to get them. Also, my hand looks so weird in this, but it's because <laughs> it's like falling off. Um, but I get mine from H Mart because I have really small hands and I actually need to get a new pair if you can't tell. Um, and they're the only ones that fit me, so there's that. But anyways, um, I love the H Mart ones because Otherwise, my hands are just like swimming in them. Um, so I just get like the extra small or whatever from there. And they're like $5. Like, they're so easy and they're always pink. Who doesn't like pink gloves? So, anyways, I'm just cleaning up. Um, my dinner was really great. It was just a bunch of different veggies, which honestly is kind of my big part of like being out of town. It's just like having a break from cooking um, meats. Like I love cooking meat and I love cooking like a whole spread, but it's also really nice just making veg. Also, I don't know why this has like a bunch of black and silt on it, but anyways. Um, and Brussels sprouts are my current fixation, which I think I kind of told you guys. And I definitely said it on the podcast. I made Brussels sprouts and I just love them. And now I'm gonna hop in the shower and have some mint tea and chill. And I actually can't freaking wait. It's about 8 p.m. right now. Is it even 8? It's 7.52 so early um and i'm gonna sleep like a baby tonight and i actually can't i can't wait to get to bed oh, especially this weather just makes me so tired like so wiped out um also are you guys the type of people who like in your kitchen everything has a place and like nothing moves or do you just kind of put stuff away for me like literally everything has a place like and when i say a place i mean like an exact location like down to like i put one of my sprays on one side and the other spray on the other side i feel like that's that's a little bit much but also you guys i wanted to talk about something sorry i'm off the frame but I wanted to talk about something that I've observed and it's kind of a hot take, but what the F is going on with the Ozempic epidemic? I have noticed a lot of influencers, not a lot, but I can name a handful that I followed who the issue is that they were not overweight to begin with and they've lost a ton of weight. And I mean, you can't say so for sure, but people online are deducing that it's from Ozempic. And I just think like 
for me to be completely honest like i follow these girls and like i'm going to be very candid with you guys like i see that like these girls who were not overweight to start are now rail thin and then i start to like kind of compare myself which i know is not good but i'm just being honest and trying to be candid with you guys because i'm a girl and we all do that maybe not all of us if you don't lucky you um but it's just kind of a mind fuck and then like i think it's just like i mean i could go into this whole thing about how i feel like it just completely sets an unrealistic beauty standard for like i mean you think about these girls who are in their 20s maybe in their late 20s they're on those epic and they're rail thin and then they're setting an example for these girls who are teenagers i mean i think if i were a teenager like it, when i when i was in high school if i would have seen that the influencers i follow like losing weight drastically and rapidly and like then that would be not a good thing for me and again like i think we're all responsible for our own realities and our own decisions but i do think that you know i i think we could go either way because like Obviously, we're all human, but I think when you're in the public light, like, you have, I don't know, do you have more responsibility? I mean, we could go deep into this, but regardless, I just, it's not, like, in my, in my eyes, in my opinion, that is not a healthy way to lose weight. I personally see it as a medically induced eating disorder. I know people who are on it and i have heard the way they speak about things and the way that they're like oh yeah like i don't even want food like I'll, it'll be 7 p.m and i won't think about eating and it's like okay so you haven't eaten all day and you're telling me that that's not an eating disorder i just think it's really messed up and i don't know i was just like observing this when i was watching some youtube and i was like this is really really a sad thing and a sad state of the world that we're in and so if first of all if you're looking to lose weight know that you can do it in a healthy way and second of all first of all first of all love yourself the way you are second of all if you want to lose weight that's totally okay but know that you can do it in a healthy way and third like i know it's easy to compare yourself but try not to Try to realize that when you see things online, there is so much more to the picture than what you see. And I guess that's what I'm saying about like with the whole Ozempic thing is like these girls that like it seems effortless and it's like they're so effortlessly beautiful. That's that's not always the case. I'm not saying that's not everyone or that that's everyone, but that's not always the case. And oftentimes there's a lot going on in between the lines that we have no idea about so that's my little spiel for the night um and i also think just like i was just gonna say do what makes you happy <laughs> but like at the end of the day we all deserve to be happy and like comparison is the thief of joy namaste okay peace Windows are open, pignon incense is going over there. And it smells so good. I always think it's like smokestacks in the mountains. I think that's what it says on the pignon incense. And then the Grish tea is doing its thing. And the towels are just finishing up in the wash and then, or in the dryer. And then I'm gonna hop in the shower. And I'm gonna do clean sheets tomorrow. I'm just like so content. Okay, I'm in my cozies. Also, if you're not wearing cute jammy sets yet, what are you doing? Um, but you guys, I haven't worn gold hoops for the longest time, and I think I might be back into them. Just for the just for the time being. Um, but also another thing that I was gonna say is whenever Blake travels for business, I sleep with my ring on. Like I never do otherwise, but for some reason it makes me feel closer to him. Um, but anyways, I'm going to have some tea, dessert, and call it a night. So, I will see you guys in the AM. My hair is, like, very... Actually, it's wet right now, but I can't wait to take the shower tomorrow when I have clean sheets. Fresh hyacinths literally 
give the best scent but you have to make sure they're the ones that smell some of them don't but oh, they're so good guys i just did our deep clean and our windows are open it feels so good in here it's just like so cozy and the sun is finally out and this is such a good candle so like oh, are you kidding me but this candle by Rue de Marly smells so divine. See that? But anyway, there are always this workout today. Maybe. Hi, vlog. Hey. We're just farmers, eh? Finally, in the, the first sun. market. Oh I'm so gosh. excited. What are you going to get? Um, Literally everything. Carrots. Me too. Yes, winter carrots. Do we Sweet think carrots. they have honey crisps? Depending. If they depending, do. but they're gonna be last year's, but depending. But that's okay. I would like to get a pack of those. Me too. And then some onions. Oh what my god, you? I want sweet onions. Right. I'm gonna get sweet onions. I'm gonna get shallots from Nichols. Yum. Um, I'm gonna get Japanese sweet potatoes from Nichols. Mushrooms. Oh, mushrooms, duh. Duh, big mushrooms. And you got your big mushrooms. I got my big mushrooms. If you listen to the pod, I got my big yes. mushrooms. Um, and I was with Kate. It's great. It was phenomenal. And honestly, I'll I'll see what my heart calls for. I need to be reminded of all of the goodness I can get here because now I'm like, oh my god. I feel like in the summer, I will buy every piece of produce from definitely mostly. We go like rogue. We go wild. <laughs> like we're gonna be sick times. of us farmers no. because every time they're like, all right, see you tomorrow. <laughs> we're like, we'll see you. <laughs> we know where to find you around the city. Exactly. I. I'm trying to think if I'm gonna get radishes. I don't think I'm going to because they always have winter radishes. Radishes, I don't think I like them. I'm not feeling those. The thing is, I slice them so thinly so I have them for like months. No, literally, and then I just feel like I end up throwing them away. Yes. So that's not the vibe. I What's the deal with radishes and butter? Is, that's a French thing, right? That is, and it's really, really good. But I'm trying to, I was talking to the vlog about this because I, I would say I have like pretty next to no food waste. Yeah. Like, I mean, obviously like things that are unedible, I throw away, but like- Like your green juice Like, like that's what I was thinking. Really? Like, I'm not keeping my green juice Yeah. But other than that, I feel like I have pretty zero food waste, but during the farmer's market season, sometimes I just feel like I impulse buy things. Yeah. You know, like yeah. radishes. Yeah. Because it's so fun, you get there and they're so vibrant. I'm like, oh my God, wait, I need these. Do you remember those, were they watermelon radishes? Yes. Like oh, I would buy those if they had them. Or yeah. Were they beets? No, those were, were those beets. Those were so really good. They were so they good. Were, they were they weren't Tuscan beets. No. They were something beets. I think they were Italian beets. Yeah, I think you're right. And those they were, were good. Phenomenal. Yeah. Okay, we'll see you at the farmers. Right, Bye. Yeah, you got back to our regularly scheduled programming. Tart cherries. I'm gonna make jam with this today, and I'm also gonna have these for snacks. She said they're really good. Um, and then Japanese sweet potatoes, ramps, lettuce, some shallots, lots and lots of mushrooms, <laughs> um, sweet onions, eggs, and then we got some pork chops. I'm currently making wild blueberry jam. Um, it's a friend's birthday coming up. Oh, I think it's actually almost ready, but it's a friend's birthday coming up. And so rather than getting her a conventional gift, um, I decided to make her um, sourdough English muffins and jam and then give her really great tea and some Summer right. Fridays lip balm. Oh, Blake's on the phone. Uh, so He's talking to United, but like, uh, if you need to re-whip your whipped cream, what we do is we put half of it in the freezer um, when we make it because we just don't go through it all. And then we'll take it out of the freezer when we're ready for it and re-whip it. So I made this a couple weeks ago, but since it was frozen, it's good, and I just re-whipped it. Vlogging on my phone. We're going to dinner at the vet's. Um, I'm wearing Shayna Mott, Lulu Studio, Kate Jeans, The Row, The Row. And we're off! We're running late because of me. Hi, guys. Just got home from the vet's. Did you enjoy like yeah it was really good it was so good um we got veggie sides well i got veggie sides blake got a burger and you guys i've never met a burger i liked except for this one tonight that burger was great like yeah. i would literally go have these with you on that it's the top burger in the city it's great it was delicious or one of them yeah it's so good it's a wagyu beef and it's just 
know, it has. Come sit on the couch. It has pickles on it. Like it actually, you guys, it was so fire, and now we're just cozy. It has like a special sauce. It has cheese. It has finely chopped onions. I think one that that's one way we can make our burger better is finely chopped onions. Yeah. It adds to it. I don't know I what it does, but it's so good. I agree. Um. And now we have our Flamingo Estates tomato candle burning and it smells so good. Oh, I'm so cozy. Nice. Yeah, doesn't it smell good? Mm. I love that candle. Um, okay, so what is something you're currently loving? Yeah. Um, I am loving... I need you to go closer because it's like hard for me to hold this. No, put it on my knee. No, I wanted you to. What if I put it on my knee? Is that bad? Yeah. Um, I really, really like... What was I loving? The Ghirardelli dark chocolate that I got in San Antonio. I didn't realize they made 100% dark chocolate and it's really good. Yeah. And it's 100% so there's like no sugar in it. Nothing. It's and literally just chocolate. Do you feel like that's hard to like get used to? Like now that you're used to it, obviously you like it, but do you feel like for someone who like is used to just regular chocolate, it would be kind of hard? Some are more bitter than others. Yeah, that's So makes I think sense. the chocolate chips that I eat are a little bit more bitter than the Giordelli. Yeah. But yeah, I think it, I've always liked dark chocolate. I think it's hard for some people. I think the best way to like eat it is if you like have it with something. Which I, I don't know if that defeats the purpose of dark chocolate, but I'll put chocolate chips in my yogurt. Yeah, that's good. So I had some chocolate chips, and it adds like some crunch to it as well. Like in the mornings, or yeah, mornings. Yeah, it's like cacao, like putting like cacao nibs. Exactly, but cacao nibs. I mean, they're pro they're a lot less processed, but they're really hard on your teeth. I love cacao nibs. I feel like sometimes I'm like obsessed. breaking my teeth eating them. Really? Yeah. I used to be obsessed with them, remember? When I would put the cow nibs in goji berries? Yeah, I remember goji berry. I was like obsessed. Obsession. Are um, they even that good? I like them a lot, they're really good. My current favorite is just, I'm just like in the spring mode, so like all things linen. Um, you said I couldn't wear linen tonight. Well, no, you, okay, you <laughs> asked me, you were like, could I wear linen tonight? And I was like, eh, might be a little too lightweight. That's all I said. But I mean, like, I'm wearing linen jammies right now. But, like, I, w I won't be wearing linen outside for a little bit. But that's definitely a fave. Um, but then also Flamingo Estates tomato tobacco. Or, no, heirloom tomato, not tomato tobacco. That's another current fave. Yeah. So, okay. You want to have dessert? Yeah, I do. Sunday morning, sleep in, and a little extra self-care. So I'm going to do Sunday Riley Mass and wash off. Look at how bubbly. Good morning, you guys. I am about to wash this face wash, or this um, face mask off of my face, but I thought that I would vlog and talk to you guys because it's Sunday morning. I just slept in and I really want to get this walk up today. Um, and I didn't actually sleep in that much. I wish I would have slept in a little more, but it is what it is. I got up at like 8.15 or so. Um, but then I ran in bed until 8.45. I'm almost done with the third Gossip Girl book. Um, and then I'm going to take a break and read an Ellen Helder print. And then I'll be back. Um, but anyways, I am just going to do a little Pilates. We had our little impromptu date night that you guys saw last night. Um, we went to Bavette for court, which according to Blake, he wants to be done going there for a little bit because I like to exhaust the point if you guys can't tell. Um, but... It was actually really, really nice. And I told you guys last night, I'm not kidding. Like, I, I'm not kidding you, I have never met a burger I liked 
just always hated them. But that one looked pretty good last night, so I was like, you think I could have some of that? He was like, yeah, it's really good. Mm. This coffee is so yummy. Um, also, I feel like I don't, I don't know if I've said this, but, or at least on here, I am like a huge proponent of drink a liter of water in the morning before you have your coffee, it literally changes, it changes the game. Um, in terms of just like, I just, I, I don't know how people can like get up and drink coffee straight away. Um, but you guys, I'm not gonna lie, I have a few, I have a few things to talk about right now. First of all, I feel like I've got a case of the winter uglies. I do not feel myself right now. Um, and it's okay because like we're at the end of winter, we're coming into spring. I'm gonna be feeling a lot better in the coming, even just the coming weeks, I think. I just have felt so like, just gross. And like, I wouldn't say I'm usually one who's like down on myself, but like a little bit. Like I just, I the only way I can describe it is that I've got a case of the winter uglies. So you have the winter uglies too, you're not alone. And also it's totally normal, totally okay. And that's what I keep reminding myself and I'm just doing things through it that make me feel good, so. And honestly, the only way that you can make the winter uglies worse is to feed into it. What you feed grows. Um, and yeah, I'm like cold, so I'm like trying to, sometimes I wanna like wear a sweater like this. Like Kayla wears her sweaters like this. Kayla's Blake's brother's girlfriend and when she does it, it's really cute but for me it's giving um I don't even know what I don't even know what to say to that one it's kind of what is it giving I don't know but whatever I love a button detail like this on a cardigan it just gets me so good um but anyways okay another note so this straw this is so niche I stole it from my sister's apartment in New York. And I I haven't been to New York in a hot minute. I really wanna go this spring, but I have such fond memories of New York City. Both of my sisters used to live there. And now only one of them lives there, but both of them used to live there and I would go and I would stay with them and visit them. We just have so much fun gallivanting around the city. Um, and when, so now my sister lives in the West Village, but when I visited her, like when she used to live there with my other sister, they lived on the Lower East Side. And if you know where Ludlow Coffee is, they lived like right across the street from Ludlow. Um, and I would always get up in the morning and go, that was when I was like into Soul Cycle. So I'd go to Soul Cycle, I'd go to Bevan's class. Um, and then I would go get coffee at Ludlow. And it's just so nostalgic for me. And like, I just like, there's nothing like New York City in like the springtime when you come out of your apartment and the sun is just like shining. Oh, I couldn't live there, but I love it. Like I really do. Um, and I just like miss the restaurants. I mean, the restaurant scene there has changed so much since I used to go there. Um, but yeah, I just like, I miss it. Anyways, so I've been like feeling very like wanting to go back to New York. So I'm gonna bug my mom about it. I'm going to Palm Beach in a couple weeks, which I'm excited for. And that's when I plan to bug my mom about us going. New York trip um, but yeah um what else do I have I don't know I'm just like I really want to go to New York and I really want to go to California like I usually I have a travel bug for like outside the US but right now I just want to go to those two places like those are my current fixation and I think California because it's leading up to a, a year since Lake and I got engaged at Big Sur, which is just crazy. 
insane in the memory and my friend Lily just got engaged in California and it had me like getting in my nostalgic mood like ugh, I just want to go back but we'll see we will see if it's meant to be it will be that's what I keep telling myself so yeah and sometimes like again I think it's just these winter months like have me having me fiending for like travel but then I remind myself that like I am so blessed in my day-to-day -day life and I'm so blessed to love my day-to-day -day life and I'm not gonna get like too into this right now I don't know how I'm gonna get in I don't know how far I'm gonna get into this so right now like what are the people they're not refugees the people that are on this on the what are they called I mean I'm calling them refugees. They're not refugees. I know, but undocumented. They're they're documented. Are they? Well, I guess they are. They're legal. Are they legal? I don't know. Regardless, don't know. frankly, it doesn't really matter to me. What matters is if you live in Chicago. I'm probably gonna start crying about this because it breaks my heart. If you live in Chicago, you know that right now there are a bunch of so basically what happened from what I understand is a bunch of people came over from Mexico to Texas and Texas was like, we don't have the capacity for these people. So they sent them to Chicago, one of the coldest cities in the US makes a lot of sense, right? Um, but they sent them to Chicago. And so right now, like if you walk around the city, you'll see like young women and children and like I got the name what migrants. Is it? migrants yeah the migrants sorry but you'll see clearly I'm not like I try not to like invest like invest time and energy into like reading up on the news and stuff and I'm sorry if that's not on par with what you think I should be doing, but it just stresses me out. I used to be literally addicted to the Wall Street Journal in college and it's just not for me. Um, but you guys, I see these like women and children and they're sitting on the streets. And I knew I was gonna cry because I was doing my morning journaling and I started like, but you see them and they're like on the streets. It's so heartbreaking and you're like, oh my God, you guys, like they thought that they were coming to like, it, you know, like that when they made this trek or whatever to get to America, they thought that they were like, I'm ruining my skincare. <laughs> but when they made this trek to get to America, like they thought that it was a, you know, like as, as I would have too. And it just really breaks my heart seeing them and like, I don't know. So anyway. It's things like that, when I saw that like yesterday when Blake and I were walking around, that make me like, okay, I'm talking about how I want to go to New York and Big Sur, but like, why can't I just appreciate and love and be blessed for like the beautiful life that I have here and pray for and send love to and do anything that I really can to help these people. And before you think I'm getting all woo-woo on you, the power of prayer is immense. Um, actually, Joe Dispenza did this study. <laughs> Joe Dispenza did this study, um, or he referenced this study in one of his books about retroactive prayer. Basically, prayer that's done after the event happens and it alters the outcome of the event. It was like a crazy study. But anyways, so I, I think what the point of that was is like appreciate the reality that you do have rather than wishing that you were somewhere else because things could be a hell of a lot worse. And you know what, Blake actually said something to me yesterday because I was like, we were walking past him and I was like, hey, it's so sad, what can we do to help? And he was like, do you wanna know what's even more sad? The fact that likely this reality that they're experiencing right now is better than what they were experiencing. I was like, that is really sad. And that's not even like a, like, I mean, we don't know that to be true, but like, 
I think what Blake was, his point by that was like, we have it so fucking good, we don't even know what bad looks like. You know, like, it's really hard. Now I need to like get on with my day, but that was my little spiel. And I feel like the other Chicago girlies that are listening to this or watching this, you guys know what I'm talking about. It's a really sad thing. Um, on another note, make sure you change these out. I have just like a big pack and I change them frequently. I guess your eyelashes are the best one. Okay, I'm gonna get ready for my day, do my Pilates. And I'm actually gonna end this vlog here. I'd like to start a new vlog just at the beginning of the week. I like to upload two vlogs a week and I didn't last week. So I wanna upload this. But I love you guys. I'm grateful for each and every one of you. And tell someone you love them today. And also just like, again, wherever you're at, even if, you, even if your life isn't where you ideally want it, just think of like the three things you're grateful for and really appreciate each and every step. And just because you're appreciating it doesn't mean you can't strive for more. So, I love you all, and I will see you in my next vlog. Bye.